What is time? I know not. Flicker a few blinks wide. Flutter a few wings more. I am static. What is time? I know not. This was a piece written by Shelley Jyoti in May of this year. For Shelley Jyoti, the act of revisiting her works during the period of the pandemic turned into a much greater exploration of the philosophical and sociological concepts she has been delving into over the past decade. Much of her multidisciplinary research and practice has had at its core a deep acknowledgement and inclusion of Mahatma Gandhi's teachings on collective consciousness. While her usual process involves the physical act of working with artisans and printing on flowing textiles with Ajrak, the lockdown didn't prevent her in articulating her creative expressions through many other means. Being a writer and a maker, the duration spent during the pandemic shut off from the world became one of contemplation and creation. As her drawings and doodles sprang to life in the company of text and image. Drawn to the complexity of the time humanity has been passing through, Jyoti turned towards interrogating the very representation of time through history. In the symbolic confluence of concepts and ideas that connect world civilizations. The symbology to be found in her own textile artworks finds connection with universal forms that are also profoundly rooted in the cultural ethos of the subcontinent. These are motifs and designs that are birthed from reservoirs of knowledge and can be revisited time and again with no diminished impact, but instead they constantly offer new meanings. Looking at the current epoch through the lens of human experience and visual tropes, Shelley Jyoti began to revisit her past works, particularly the prominent series exploring Gandhi's four philosophies of Swadharma, Sarvodaya, Swadeshi and Swaraj. Her decision to create mixed media works on familiar images of her previous narratives somehow renders the cycle of experience continuous and transitioning as she follows the thread of life that transcends time and medium. She is in a sense bridging her own understanding from past to future and from the self to community. Time, rebirth, iconology. These concepts form the underlying mapping of this series of experimental works. The works reflect a true rediscovery and reincarnation of earlier themes, but they also bring fresh perspectives for her as an artist, as she sifts through an engagement with new realities and materials. In the series Rebirth, The Golden Boat of Life, Jyoti infuses the imagery with movement. The picture planes recall ancient seafarers' maps acknowledging also the physical and metaphorical journey that we all take as humans. The textural physicality of the gold threads connects with richness and beauty in many ways, and perhaps allows us to reflect on the value of life in its time-bound framework. The circle is a primary motif in design and is always central in sacred and cosmological diagrams. As a form, it recurs in Shelley Jyoti's work. Here it indicates continuity and the cyclical quality of history, of epochs themselves. It also implies the relationship between the microcosm and the macrocosm, something that is very prominent in her work. Jyoti's series on the wheel of time or Kala Chakra is a powerful rendering of a concept existing in several streams of spiritual understanding, including Hinduism, Sikhism, and Buddhism. The concept regards time as consisting of several repeated ages. She explains, the use of snakes is symbolic in our Vedic literature. In the Puranas, 
Sheshnag is said to be holding the planets of the universe, balancing Earth on his head. It is said that when the primordial serpent uncoils, time moves forward, and when he coils back, the universe ceases to exist. The pandemic has been a slice of time when disorientation and fragmentation have been primary sensations for all of us. Each individual has found many different ways of dealing with it. The series Rebirth with the Koi Fish as central motives talks about the consciousness of the self, of introspection, discipline, and self-care, things that have monopolized thoughts in the recent past, particularly in this precarious situation of sickness and death. Jyoti mulls over the body constantly, its survival and the precious breath that keeps stasis. For Jyoti, the concepts of Swaraj and Swadharma guide the way she looks at society and how an individual participates in collective well-being. Some of the works in the series elaborate on these notions of interdependence and of human beings able to reach out to those with lesser privilege than themselves. Both her work with indigenous artisans as well as her belief in the local as an artist and a fashion designer have framed the series Rebirth, Make in India. The framed silhouettes of the ancient Angraka pattern of tunic recall centuries of textile production and practice, dyeing and stitching, also drawing attention to the communities that need our support in these dire times. The idea of Kintsugi was inspiring in the present and fractured times of the global pandemic, she says. This evocative series based on the Japanese philosophy of mending broken ceramics with the precious material of gold speaks about transforming what is shattered into something whole again, something that becomes then special, fitting together the pieces of a puzzle to create, in fact, a fresh fabric of life. In compiling this series of paintings, drawings, and poems, Shelley Jyoti has delved into both a theoretical engagement with the present times and a personal, artistic, and of course, a cathartic experience and response to her living times and those of society as a collective. A planet beyond repair, human paradigm, communities to come together, to heal, design, and weave. The new fabric of life, sediments of humanity, hung on fossils of thread. I end with this excerpt from Shelley Jyoti's poem. <laughs> 